The tomb of Allah Allah is located on Nushaba Street in Barda, belongs to the 14th century. The tomb was built in 1322 by Nakhchivan architect Ahmad ibn Ayyub al-Hafiz al banayi It's divided into underground and surface parts, which are characteristic of Azerbaijani tombs. The underground part is the grave of the tomb, and the upper part is a memorial. There were hidden roads in four directions in the underground part of the tomb. Now these roads are closed for some reasons. The surface of the tomb consists of three main architectural structures, a stone pedestal, a circular body, and a tent dome. This inscription, which covers an area of eight and half meters from the pedestal and consists of a combination of turquoise stone and red brick, repeats the word Allah more than 200 times in the form of a pattern. For this reason, the tomb is popularly called the Tomb Allah Allah. The tomb was built to immortalize the memory of prominent personalities of the period. The Allah Allah tomb consists of a cylindrical body and a conical dome. Body diameter 10 meters, height 12.5 meters. In accordance with the order of President Ilham Aliyev on August 15, 2017 on additional measures to strengthen state support for the development of culture in the Republic of Azerbaijan, the restoration of the tomb Allah Allah was completed. The Allah Allah tomb was destroyed during the Soviet period in 1957-1958. The tomb was repaired by the Special Scientific Restoration Department of the Ministry of Culture of the Azerbaijan SSR. On March 25, 2018, Mr. President Ilham Aliyev got acquainted with the conditions created after the major reconstruction. Torpakala was registered as a world-famous archaeological monument by the decision of the Cabinet of Ministers on August 2, 2001. Torbakkala is located on Nushaba Street in Barda, around the Allah Allah tomb. It dates back to the 6th century BC. The fortress was built to protect the city from foreigners. According to sources, at the time the weight and length of the city of Barda was 5-6 kilometers. A magnificent 10 meter deep trench was dug around the castle walls, and a suspension bridge was built. In the past, the height of the castle was 12 meters from the outside and 7 meters from the inside. The walls of the fortress, which had large iron gates, were so magnificent that not only the population of the city, but also the entire surrounding area took refuge in the event of serious trees to protect themselves from the enemy. The castle has 7 towers. This precious pearl of art of our ancestors was destroyed by ruthless wars, several trials of nature in several places. Raw bricks were used in the construction of the castle. Despite the natural effects, part of the castle has survived to this day. On behalf of President Ilham Aliyev, who is sensitive to our monuments, who shed light on the dark pages of our historical past. In 2017, repair work began to restore the original appearance of the monument. Archaeological excavations were carried out in 2017 in the territory of Torpakkala by the scientific center named after Nizami Ganjavi of Oxford University. The obtained exhibits were handed over to the Museum of History and Ethnography of Barda. Mr. President Ilham Aliyev reviewed the conditions created after the major reconstruction of the Torpakkala complex on March 25, 2018. The grave of the leader of the tribe was found in the mounds found there and named the Royal Mound. More than 200 rare argan trees have been laid in this huge tomb, which is 32 meters long. 8 meters wide and 4 meters deep. The nails of the wooden coffin were nailed mainly with gold and bronze nails. So far, the coffin with gold nails has hardly been found. 
The world famous Porsonlu Mount is located in the northern part of Porsonlu village. The mount belongs to the Bronze and Early Iron Ages. Archaeological excavations were carried out in 1981 and a large mount dating to the beginning of the second millennium BC was discovered. One of these monuments of the Early Bronze Age is a square tomb made of clay stone in an area of 15 square meters. The grave has three floors. One human skeleton was found on the top floor, eight on the second floor and ten human skeletons on the third floor. The buried were half robbed. Porsunlu Mount was registered as a world famous archaeological monument by the decision of the cabinet of ministers on August 2, 2000. The monument currently stands on a high hill protected by the state. One.